Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Hello lovely people, welcome back. Uh, from where we left off on our last video, we we're actually able to do something like this. Click on a product and get this black page. And I told you that's not an error. It just means you did everything right and everything is working right. Okay, I hope you like my new Batman wallpaper. But okay, that's not related to the video. But let's go. Ooh, so here we have the codes to do that. Let's go back like this. Reload the app. And as you know, I like to put this, oops, and as you know, I like to put this like here so we don't have to minimize and maximize this every time. Hmm. So I have something like this. Let us code coders. Let us code. So what now? Uh, we want to make that other page work and as you know we created we created this package we call the package pages and inside pages we have product details right now we'll do I don't I'm I'm kind of lazy so I don't want to work too much so what I'm going to do is okay let's start with things we're going to create a scaffold here. Let me zoom create the scaffold widget. Then we'll have the app bar and we'll just copy the definition of our app bar here. Where is it? Where is it? We have the app bar here. Just come to the main and copy it. It's going to be basically the same. So I just don't want to write this all over again. Where am I going to pass this? Oh, that's not the right file. Okay. Uh, we have the app bar here. Let us do this. Okay, let us go through this just to make sure we are on the same page. So we have here, scaffold will return a bar elevation 0 0.1, basically means that the shadow is going to be of 0 0.1. Background color red is the color of the app. Title text is the te title that's going to appear in the text bar, and these two uh the buttons let us just reload this and see if it's here we have magic okay guys here's the thing uh let me explain while showing you i guess it's simpler like that we have here the app bar as i told you uh, Fesh app is the name of the app we have here. Fesh app, and we have these two buttons over here. Okay. Uh, now this is done. We are going to define the body, and for the body, we are going to give a new list view. This is what we want. We want to be able to scroll over the body. Uh, and then we're going to give children widgets. And the first ch children child that we're going to create here is a container. Okay, uh, if you write new, 
then container it's going to help you somehow with parentheses and stuff and for this container we are going to give a height of 300 and then we're going to provide a child for this container well, for now let's just give it a color to see what are we doing um, color colors dot black for example okay so this is what we have this is what are we trying to build so we can go back now you click on this and here we are going to place an image right so for the image uh i hope my my my, my teachings or my pace is not very fast and you guys are able to understand and in case you're not able to understand feel free to notify me okay uh for the image we're going to do good thing actually i may just end up adding more more items to our app only two is it's not very attractive look wise uh we'll use a grid grid tile so because i don't want to do this again and most of the times when you'll be working on project not just related to flutter we'll be doing this a lot like just copying and pasting copying and pasting because it makes things easier you don't have to write code that you already have so we have this grid tile and how are we going to integrate this into that <laughs> I guess I cannot just copy this over there. It's not going to be very nice. But anyhow, um, let's try doing something like this. As you can see, before I continue with that, when we click over here, here we want to get this image, like this image here. We want to get this title, this new price and the old price. We want to get them both over here so how are we going to do that uh, come back to the product details right and as you can see we are passing all of these properties like the product name uh, product price product old price and all of this stuff so here on this file we are going to create variables final variables you can call this product detail just to differentiate name let's cop copy this and paste it like three times paste it oops oops, oops paste it paste it so here we're going to have product detail price oh I can put new let me put new price product detail old price mm, let me see what else do we have here picture product detail picture I uh, now we're going to do this we're going to create as we have over here we created a constructor which makes an obligation for us to pass these values all every time we call this particular widget 
So we'll create the constructor here. I'm going to call the constructor product details. And we are going to give here this dot product name. Let me put this down. Then we are going to give this dot product new price this dot product old price and I'm going to give this dot product picture okay uh, it's saying that we have a mistake over function body must be provided um, I don't know what did I do now or I don't know where do I have this error okay it was missing a semicolon uh, so what now every time we call this particular widget the product details we will have to pass these values okay this may sound a little bit complicated but just take a time you can go back to the video you can watch it over and over again so you can understand the concepts and i'm trying to make it very simple for you guys to understand with no problem so here we are making call of the product detail product details widget or class is basically the same thing so what are we going to do now is set here product detail name so do you see that this comes now has a property of the product detail class because we defined here for this constructor that we have to pass these values the product detail name old price new price and product detail picture so coming back here we have product detail name it's going to be product name so we are saying that this value, the product name, is going to be passed for the product details name. So when we call this new function, we'll just have the product name here. All right. Uh, now uh, we are going to give product new picture new price. Sorry, is equal to product price. product old price is equal to product old price and finally we have a uh, product picture is equal to product picture again so uh oh this is price wait a second the picture here you are okay what is happening guys here uh, I've been not commenting for a while let me just leave a comment so here we are passing the values of the prop the to the product details page okay uh, now we're not able to see nothing too special yet but no problem we can still do this okay when we come back here we have this container here we can do this oops oops let me just delete this and I'll write here uh, 
child. I want to use a grid tile. Okay. Here we're going to provide the color. Color the white to make sure that the <laughs> I'm having a mistake here. Let me just check how I define the product tile here. Product tile uh container we can define the color inside of the container, not the other way around. So no problem. Let me just delete this. Oops, 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 I'm deleting too much. And we're going to define a container in here. Okay, we're going to define the color of this container as colors dot white and we're going to define a child for the container is going to be image assets and inside of these see you may be tempted to just write here product picture and if you do let me try right you see we don't even have that option to write directly product picture and why is that as you see here this product detail state is a subclass of the state class this is a child class okay so if you want to access the value of those we have to do widget giving a reference to the base class or the parent class dot product picture okay uh, let me go back over here let me refresh this and see how well is it working I feel like I have to refresh it like this okay let us see Ta-da! and we have magic now we have image here you see yes you do okay I don't know how long uh, I don't know what's the length of the video so for today I'll just stop over here and tomorrow we'll continue uh, putting the title and the price new price old price the buy button add to cart and like and this kind of stuff okay Okay, I hope you really did enjoy it. Sorry, sorry, I have problems with the length of the videos. Usually they are too lengthy. Sorry for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As I told you, I'm back and I'm back for good. See you on the next one, lovely people. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to leave your comment and support because that's why I do this. See you on the next one.